What's up guys, Rajat from VFX World. Welcome back to my channel. Hope you guys are doing absolutely fine. In this video, I'll talk about how you can create this amazing rendering process inside of 3ds Max by using Typeflow. So without wasting any time, let's get started. <laughs> So guys, right now we're in 3ds Max version 2020 and I already done very few things before starting this tutorial. So let me show you. So this is my basic character and I have this one around this character. And now when you select this character, I have this two modifier, which is first of all is slice. So if I play this, it will something like this. So I have animated this by using this slice tool. The setting should be from remove top and I'm animating from zero to 80 frames. And then I added cap holes for fill these holes. So that's it guys. Now we are jump into tie flow. So first of all, you have to take from here this tie flow and just something like this, go to modify list and we have to open this open editor. Now inside tie flow, we have to arrange this to something like that. And now we are taking this birth, just drag and drop. And now this one is here. And now we are taking from start and end frame should be zero by zero. And the total number of particles, let's take around 100 because it's the initial stage. We are not using many particles. And after that, we have to use one node called position object. So just click here and by pressing tab, you can just type position and it will come something like that. So double click here, it will add very easily. And now go to this pick and you're picking this one. So this will be our position object and now you can see the particles are right now visible and if you play nothing will happen because the particles are right now on their exact space. Now next we need one more node called find target because this particle should be go a specific target. So just press tab and type find and it will come find target. So double click here just drag and drop to under this position object and now this find target just move down and from pick. I'm picking this one. So now what happened, this particle will go to this direction. So when you play this, you can see the particles are exactly going towards this character. So now if you see, this is looking just amazing. Now we need to change some settings here. So from control, I'm taking it from control by velocity to control by time and go down. And we have this two option called target location. So it should be close it and the point should be, let's take around random. So this will be easy to handle. Now you have to take another display. So just scroll back and click and drag and drop. So the display next one is here and just connect this pipe to this fine target. And now we have to take a node inside of this display called force. So just press tab and take force, something like that. Double click here. You can use a separate force modifier from here, but I am not using anything. So just go down and I'm changing the strength. Let's take around 0.8 and I'm changing the strength value. Let's take around one and the scale. Let's take around 0.3. And obviously the gravity should be, let's take around 0.3 as well. So now when you play this, when the particles are coming here, it will go up with this character. In fact, it's just stick on this character, but right now it's going like blast. So we have to fix this. To fix this, we need another node called object bind. So just press tab and type like object and it will come like this object bind and double click here. So now what happened, this particles will connect. In fact, it will stick on this object or just model you can call it. So now go to this pick value. So now click this pick and click this character. And now when you play this, you can see when the particles are coming and it's just stick on this character. In fact, it's going up. Okay, so now we need to change something more here. So we have to click this lock to surface and snap to surface. And after that, go down, we have this stickiness. So the friction should be let's take around 0.8. It's good enough. So now when you play this, you can exactly see the particles are going with this character animation. See, this areas of particles are here. So now almost we have done. Now you have to take another node, which is called spline one. So this one is a spline paths. Just click drag and drop to here. And we have one more to this here as well. Okay. So now click the spline path. Now you have to click this create new. So when you press the create new, let's see something what happened. When you play this, you can see these lines are coming toward this model and this looks just amazing. But right now, this is only this particles are here. We are not adding the splines for this character. So go to the first frame and click this spline path and we have to click another create new. Now when you play this, it will be look something like this. So just it's already very heavy. So now what you will do, just go to this layer panel and you just turn off this main character. Now you can see this looks just amazing, but we have to do some more settings. 
So let me show you that. So again, we have to go to this group layers and I'm taking this tie spline one and from I'm just going to first frame and then go down, click here, go down and over there you can see maximum age. Let's take around 15 frames is good enough. So now what happened when you play this, this splines will be end after 15 frames something like that so now after that last part we have to add some cool things which you can render so without that you can't render so just click here and i'm taking called mesh and this is called mesh so double click here so this one will come and go down and when it happened you have to do the same thing here as well just click here and taking again a mesh double click here something like that so now it can be renderable without this too it will not getting rendered so guys now what you have to do you have to just give a simple cool material settings light setup and all so i know you already know these things better if you don't know you should check my all 3d tutorials and guys when everything will be done everything will be final the output should be look like this so guys i hope you really enjoyed this amazing tutorial from typeflow inside of 3ds max and if yes then don't forget to like comment and share and also you should subscribe our channel vfx world and also you should follow us on our social media handles like facebook instagram linkedin and twitter all links are in the description box below and guys i will see you in my next video till then have fun stay healthy and keep rocking keep watching vfx world